So, Stephen, you're from the UK. I don't know yeah. much about it. What is it like for people to try to live out their faith publicly in this culture? Okay, I think a lot of people in this country, um, especially kind of in the mainland denominations, have lost a little bit of confidence in talking naturally and normally about their faith, maybe in a pub or in a high street, or maybe even down on a skate park behind here, you know. And I think we need to try and encourage them a lot more to sort of just find normal levels of conversation. And when it crops up, when people ask the spiritual questions, because they are, just find a way of sort of saying, yeah, Jesus means a lot to me, and actually that's why I'm committed to church, that's why I'm committed to this group of people, that's why I want to see a difference in the world. And it's just encouraging that that is what I kind of, you know, I think we need to see an awful lot more of. I feel the same way. I mean, I have a friend who said he could go to church more often if they had a sign over the front door that said, let's pretend. Uh -huh. Because there's so much in the church that feels like it's unreal. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. Uh, if we could teach people that by being really who they are, playful, that expose their Absolutely. doubts, their struggle, yeah, yeah. that. Uh, that their faith life will shine through sure, yeah. and that there will be natural opportunities. I think a lot of people think that being a Christian it means that you've got two heads or something strange about you, isn't it? And uh, it isn't. You just find you've got to be, you know, who you are and what you are and be normal. And um, I, I think the other thing that people think is they've got to share the whole gospel in, in 30 seconds. And that's not the case either. It's just yeah. a little bit at a time. Let the Holy Spirit work, isn't it? Let God speak. Yeah, that's true.